Hey, what is up guys, it's Catherine Neuberger, and today I'm going to be talking about skill-based matchmaking in Black Ops 3 and my thoughts on this subject. Now, there's been news that um, Treyarch and Activision have added in skill-based matchmaking into Black Ops 3, and it has been getting a lot of negative attention recently. So, skill-based matchmaking is basically where it takes the KD and the kills per minute and a bunch of factors that go into um, making how good you are at Call of Duty and they take that and they put you in matches with people that have similar uh, stats as you like KD and score and kill per minute and all that stuff and they put you with people that have similar um, capabilities of that level so say there's a guy that gets on and he cannot play Call of Duty whatsoever and he's completely terrible then he gets put in a group where there's a bunch of people that always go 2 and 18 in a normal game or uh, 1 and 15 in a normal game and they're all put together and they um, are about the same skill level and it goes easier on them but for the more hardcore players and um, the better players it's difficult because you always they always seem to go on those like kill streaks and rampages and whatever and they can't really do that if they're against all the other people that do that all the time now I understand they can still have normal games or decent games uh, but they can't um, go on their crazy streaks like they do when it's a mosh pit of a bunch of different skill levels of people rather than all really good people so it's a it's kind of a bad thing for the Call of Duty community and um, that's this reason is why a lot of people did not like Advanced Warfare that and the weapon variants are why people did not like Advanced Warfare for the most part and um, that's what they're starting to do in Black Ops 3 and I hope that it doesn't ruin Black Ops 3's rep and everything my thoughts on it I think it's okay um, for the people who need to improve and have never played Call of Duty before I think it's all right that they do that and um, maybe helps them get some people get better blah 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 but if it's for like major players even like the clans like optic phase obey devil whatever clan I don't think it's good at all I think it ruins the game I think it completely um, misses the point of Call of Duty um, I usually like I've been put in matches where they're all like super hardcore players and I just like can't freaking get a kill whatsoever I'm not saying I'm a good, best player I'm not that great of a player but um, I'm decent so I've been put in games where I completely fail and I've put, been put in games where I go like 30 and 2 I've been in games like that before but if if they take my normal KD and put me with people like that all the time, I feel like I do decent, but I really don't like the idea of skill-based matchmaking. Um, along, I agree with most of the people on the internet. Now, is it going to make Black Ops 3 a terrible game? No. Everybody was hyped about Black Ops 3. It's a great game. I love it, and hopefully skill-based matchmaking doesn't ruin it for a lot of people. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, leave down in the comments what your thoughts are on skill-based matchmaking in Black Ops 3 and or Advanced Warfare and uh, tell me your thoughts um, make sure to like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more videos it's been Kevin Aberger and I'll see you all in the next video thank you for watching